Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to write SQL equivalent queries in the DAX. All I uh, want to do in this video is like, we are familiar with SQL, most of them, but once it comes to DAX, they stuck. I want to bridge that gap. For that, they need to understand how DAX works similar to comparing with the SQL. So this is part one of um, this uh, SQL to DAX series. So we will do uh, the complex scenarios in upcoming videos. So this is with the one single table. So prerequisite is like you should have uh, SQL basics. Uh, you should also know the DAX basics as well. You should understand the semantic model basics. So we are clear with the prerequisite. And this channel contains a free content that covers the MSBI, Power BI, fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's begin our SQL to DAX journey. So I'm in Power BI now. And let's try to understand um, what we are going to do today. This is the SSMS tool. Those who are not familiar, this is the client tool for uh, connecting to the working with the, your database, SQL Server database. These are the five queries, are very basic, uh, single table, right? To run. So, which uses the select star from and uh, select few columns, var condition, order by class, and group by and having class. Let's try to query the first statement select star from person dot person which returns all records which is 19,972 and equivalent query in DAX is evaluate the table name so there is no documentation says like uh, select star from is equivalent to DAX but for you to understand uh, in order to select the entire table results you need to mention the table name and evaluate that's it so this is what you can able to understand it so you can still see the similar uh, records count in the DAX as well let's move on to second query usually in scenarios like we will usually not put uh, all the all the columns right we need only the few columns yes so now we used business entity id last name and first name so now we need to use the select columns function you see the syntax is select column function uses the table name and expression we don't have any expressions uh, in this case so we just use the select columns person person uh, what are the columns we require once you do the evaluate it will return the similar results and all records if you see 19972 over here so this is how you can um, select few columns L let's try to understand the var condition S you have um, these three columns you need to filter uh, the some records from this table so now let's consider the uh, criteria person type e e e m right that is employee let's try to filter the person with selected columns with the filter it it returns only 273 records so now let's go to our dax and try to understand how to apply var condition so filter is the function used to uh, apply the var condition so now it is the restricted table so even sql perspective from class written the entire table and then it filters the uh, records so first you need to apply the filters here now the filter table is given as the input to the select columns then from that filter table you will filter only a uh, few columns so select columns uh, uses the table and uh, instead of selecting the entire table you filtering the table here that is a filter table that's it so this is how you will write the uh, 
so let me try to uh, give you uh, only the filter statement here only the work condition right so you will get to understand what i'm trying to convey filter table and one particular filter person type equal to em em okay so you need notice the difference in sql it's a single quotes and here it is double quotes now it returns the same set of rows 273 rows right? but uh, it retains entire columns right so if you want only few columns you need to apply the select columns so that is what applied in this uh, in this first statement so that is the whole point uh, how you need to write the filter table and then water columns you need then you will filter it so so this is the third query let's move on to order by class so same thing we have selected uh, and uh, what about the order right now it's uh, so it usually it orders by the primary key right the business entity now i want to use the order by the first name first name so then this is here by business entity but we will try to order by first name first name here once the result has been provided here the, this query will return certain results right now uh, order by is common in any sql or any programming or, or with data okay so just always go with the capital letter for the keywords so order by the first name now be, orders the uh, data by so here also we will try to replace with the first name so this is how you can query a single table with certain where condition or not after the result set came it will order based on the column you specify so one thing to highlight if you can order by multiple columns let's try to do this one so order by first name and last name an important point to understand uh, here is like sql and and dax is like here is the catch this one you need to understand now here i selected only the first name and last name and when i order by the other columns from the person table let's try to uh, only three columns but here modified date okay so when i run this one sql works like a charm meaning like the table is altered by modified and then only select the columns e even i don't need to add the modified date as part of the select statement so now i'm adding it for the clarity so this is based on the order i'm getting so you order by class uh, and select class uh, may not have the same list of columns this is the uh, one of the thing but as in dax if you run it you cannot do it so only it will the this this particular uh, column is not known by this query at all okay because since it's a column not database it works within that whatever columns it is selected if you want to order based on the uh, modified date you need to add the uh, modified date in your uh, data as well i mean the restricted data yeah modified date so just use the modified date here and yeah there you go now once you add it then only you can add it this is for your uh, understand uh, the key difference about uh, the um, uh, order by class let's try to understand the final part of it let's like a group by uh, I want to literally write so we have a function here <coughs> excuse me so let's try to write from the beginning here group by class so so for um, we we have to evaluate 
uh, for group by the equivalent function is uh, summarize okay so we have called summarize summarize what is the syntax you see the person type uh, we will try to check the syntax uh, now uh, the table is you need to put the table comma group by column group by column is person type and you can provide the name and expression so name is nothing but your uh, allies name in SQL you put the allies name after your calculation here in DAX you need to put your count of type right count of type that is the allies name you are giving the name and then put your expression or count we can use the same calculation here in this case count so this is what you need to have a basic uh, knowledge about the DAX uh, if, whether you can use the count or count A uh, those kind of stuffs so that's it now we are done we got the same results let's try to um, run the same result you can see it is the same results with a different order but the results are different you can compare the uh, each items here now uh, we we know about um, group by class now uh, in SQL to filter uh, after the result of group by class we need to use the um, and uh, you having class right so <laughs> when you come to the group by <laughs> entire thing is changed because we use the altogether different function so uh, i want to take a pass here to understand you dax is a function language so for everything you need to call certain functions and all the logics are pre uh, defined in the dax microsoft has written uh, the all the logics inside this see, uh, function right so that is what uh, so for in in terms of sql everything within the select uh, uh, from class by class that won't change but in case of uh, dax for each um, items uh, you need to use a different function because it is a function language but you need to understand how to write these fundamentals coming back to our subject area now let's try to uh, write the having class so what having class will do uh, in after the result set of the group by after this result you need to filter then you need to use the having class so let's try to filter whoever uh, the count greater than 100 so similarly now here there is no new class so this is the result set right now summarize now for a table filter what we'll do we use the filter right in our previous example we have said filter the entire table right this is the entire table and the new column is created here so the new column if you can see it will be in square brackets so we will use this entire table and then that column as a filter count of type greater than 100 so sp will be removed so filter function select table table that this is this complete summarize function entire table will be there that is the entire table and then count of type is one of the column then greater than 100 so that is the filter then that's it so now we are achieved the similar results over here with sql as well as the text i hope you understand the core purpose of this video uh, how you can write the basic uh, sql uh, statements using select star from var group by having and order by class using a single table and in upcoming videos we will try to understand and write complex queries in part two if you like this video just mention in the comments you need similar contents so that i will understand and make a quality content like this and do remember that data is your asset